Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up MySQL on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for MySQL and the first link which will appear here will be from mysql.com. So just click on that link. And then here on the home page, I'm going to click on the downloads tab. And then you just need to scroll down a little and we need to click on this link which says mysql community gpl downloads and once you see our mysql community downloads so on this mysql community downloads page we will click on the mysql community server and you will uh, see this kind of web page where you can choose the version at the time of making this uh, video the version 9.0.1 is the latest version and then we will choose the Microsoft Windows here. And then uh, you have uh, three options for uh, downloading the installer for the Windows operating system. We are going to choose the first option, which is the MSI installer. So just click on the download button in front of this MSI installer. And then you can see uh, this kind of web page where you will be encouraged to sign up or log in with your Oracle account. If you don't want that, you can just click on no thanks just start the download link and it's going to start this download for the msi file so just wait for the download to finish so once this msi file is downloaded let's click on this file and let me minimize this browser and you can see the mysql server setup has been started so on this first window we are going to click on next and then if you accept all these terms and conditions, then check this checkbox and then click on next. Now here you have to choose the setup you want to have for MySQL. So here we are going to install the complete version, which will install all the required tools, which we will need to work with MySQL. So let me click on the complete one, which is going to give you this kind of warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here. And now it's going to start the installation of the MySQL server. So just wait for a few seconds. And now you can see it says completed the MySQL server setup wizard. And it also says click on finish button to uh, start the MySQL configurator. So I'm going to click on the finish button, which is going to start the MySQL configurator. At this point, click on yes here. So now this MySQL server configurator has been started on this welcome window. We are going to click on the next button. On the next step, we will see the data directory for your MySQL server. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. Now on the next window, we are going to choose the type and networking configuration. So config type will be development computer. Then in the connectivity, we will have the connection using TCP IP port will be 3306, which is the default port, which is used by MySQL. X protocol port will be 33060. Just leave everything as default. And then at this point, click on the next button. So MySQL requires us to set the root password. So here you need to provide the root password. I'm going to provide a very simple root password here, but uh, you can provide a strong password if you want to use it for some specific purpose. You can also uh, add a user. For example, I can click on the add user button and here I can create a new user. For example, code bind here and then host, just leave it as default. Role will be DB admin here. You can also uh, choose the other roles from here. I'm going to leave it as DB admin. Authentication will be MySQL. And then here you can provide the root password for that specific user also. And once that is done, click on OK. And this user is added, right? So this is the root password, which is for the root user. And this is the user which you have created and then uh, you can use this username and the password for this to just allow the access to the specific user. Now uh, in the Windows services, I will leave everything as default and then click on next here. Under service file permissions, 
I am going to uh, leave it as default, which is yes, grant full access to the user running the Windows service and then click on next. Then you have the sample databases. I'm going to check both the database options, which is the Sakila database and the world database. So it's going to create uh, those databases so that we can explore uh, the data if we don't want to create a new database for us, right? I'm going to click on next here. Now on this apply configuration window, we just need to click on the execute button so that all these steps will be executed. So let me uh, click on the execute button and then you will see the steps which will be executed and the steps which are executed already in front of them, this check mark will be added. So just wait for a few seconds until all check marks are finished. And once you see the check mark in front of each and every uh, option here, click on next. And then you have this message which says configuration complete. That means the configuration for MySQL server has been finished. And then we can click on the finish button to finish our configuration. So once the installation and the configuration of MySQL is done, let's try to connect to our MySQL server, right? So for that, click on this Windows icon and then click on All Apps icon. And here under MySQL, you will see different tools. So you can see MySQL here and I can see the MySQL command line tool. So let me click on this option which says MySQL command line tool here. So first of all, it's going to require the root password. Let me provide the root password. This is the same password which I provided at the time of installation. Press enter here. And now you can see that uh, you are inside the MySQL shell, right? Here, when you uh, give backslash H and then press enter, you will see all the commands which you can run with the MySQL. So for example, if I want to connect to a server, I can just write backslash R and let's see what it does. When I press enter, it says connection ID 16, current database is none, right? Because we haven't selected any database for now. I uh, select use command with backslash uh, U, then you can connect to some database. So for example, I'm going to just write backslash U and then I'm going to write my DB here and then press enter. You can see uh, this message which says uh, unknown database, my DB doesn't exist. So let's create this database if it doesn't exist. So for that, you just need to write create space database here and then the database name. I'm going to just write my DB as the database name and then this semicolon and then press enter. And you can see this database is now created. And now I can uh, once again write use my DB here and it's going to work. You can see database changed and now the database which is in use is my DB. So the correct command is not show DBs, the correct command is show databases. So when I give this show databases command, it's going to give me the list of all the default databases and also it's going to give me the database which I have created using this create database command, right? So here you can also create the tables and then uh, insert data into the tables uh, using various SQL commands. I hope you know some SQL commands to work with your database. So this is how you can uh, install the MySQL server. Now there are some database management UI tools which allows you to manage your database using the graphical user interfaces. One such tool which is provided by the MySQL is called MySQL Workbench. So for installing MySQL Workbench, you can once again go to your favorite browser and search for MySQL and then uh, select the first link which says mysql.com and here we are going to click on the download tab and then once again here we are going to click on this MySQL Community Downloads link and then this time we are going to click on this MySQL Workbench option and 
Just scroll down a little. You will see only one option here, which is for Windows MSI installer. Click on that. And then uh, here I'm going to choose no thanks. Just start my download, which is going to start the download of this MySQL Workbench Community Edition MSI file. So just wait for this download to finish. So once this MSI file is downloaded, let's click on this uh, MySQL Workbench MSI file. And once this uh, MySQL Workbench MSI file has been started, just click on the next button here. This is the default location where uh, this tool will be installed. So just uh, leave everything as default and then click on next here. We are going to uh, install the complete version. So just leave the complete option selected and then click on next here and then click on install and then click on yes here, which is going to install the MySQL Workbench. So just wait for a few seconds until this installation is finished. And once the installation is finished, you will see this kind of uh, window which says wizard completed and just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch the MySQL Workbench uh, automatically when you click on the finish button. So I'm going to click on the finish button, which is going to launch this uh, MySQL Workbench. So now the MySQL Workbench has been started. The default interface looks like this. Here you will see uh, this sample connection, which will try to connect to the local host 3306. So just click on uh, this uh, button here and then provide the root password. This is the same password which you have set at the time of installation of MySQL in the previous step. You can also click on this checkbox option for saving your password to the vault so that from the next time you don't need to provide this password again and again when you want to connect to the same root uh, user when you want to connect to the MySQL server using your root privileges. Click on OK here. And now I'm connected to my local MySQL server using the MySQL Workbench. So here you can see the server status in the management uh, section here. So click on um, server status and it's going to give you the server status uh, of your MySQL server using this uh, workbench option. So on the left hand side, you can see uh, many options which are under the navigator section. These are the management option, instances, performances. You can also see this tab here. So we are in the administration tab here. You can also click on the schema tab here and you can see all the schemas here, right? So we have created this Sakila and world uh, schemas when we have installed MySQL. And then later we have created this MySQL schema using this command line option, right? So this is the database uh, which we have created. So when we click on this uh, database, for example, MySQL database, so just select this database and then you can right click here and then you can connect to this database, right? So so you can expand those databases. For example, the default is world. So let's see what's inside the world database. So there are these tables which you can select and you can see there are three tables. I'm going to select the city table here. And then when you click on this small table icon here, you will see the content inside the table. So it's going to open this uh, SQL shell, which is going to give you the Query which ha it has executed, which is selects asterisk from world.city. World is the name of your database. Dot city is the name of your table, right? So here at the bottom, you can see the content of that table, right? So inside this uh, MySQL workbench, you can evaluate your uh, queries. You can see the results here. You can also see the errors or the success messages, if any, at the bottom in the output section. So this is how you can uh, install and set up MySQL server. And this is how you can install and set up MySQL workbench and connect to your MySQL server using MySQL workbench on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.